What's up guys? Today we're going to be building a mini greenhouse for each of our individual mango trees to create an environment that they thrive in, which is the tropics. They want humidity, temperatures somewhere between 80 to 90 degrees on the high side, and uh, that's what we're going to do. And we're doing this so that we can hopefully get them to grow similar to the tropics, which is two to three times the amount of growth that they could get in comparison to the growth rate here in SoCal. I'll show you how we're gonna do it. I got this idea from a friend of mine. It's not going to be the best looking greenhouse, but it's we're just mainly doing it just for the function of it. And we're gonna do it cheaply. I'll show you later on in this video, we'll show you how much each individual mini greenhouse costs us. All right, let's get going. So we're using materials that we already have. We got this from a friend of ours. These are metal framing from a canopy, like a picnic canopy that is pretty much broken. But these individual stakes are perfect for a small mango tree like what we have right here. You could also use these. This is the thing, this is one and a half inch by three quarter inch wood that you get from Home Depot and you can use this as a stake so you can cut a diagonal section here so that you can just stick it to the ground cut it to size if you want to you can create a box however what my friend did and which what I kind of like is they pretty much just made stakes he didn't have to put horizontal members he just made these vertical mini posts that pretty much just causes an enclosure of this little area here but this is a bit bigger than what we want we just want individual sizes like this all right so we have this 75 foot by 12 foot it's a six mil greenhouse plastic and we simply got this from amazon and i believe this cost i believe a hundred something dollars I'll post the actual cost right on this video and also maybe perhaps at the end. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut how I want this to be. Cut, guys. That's how high you want it. All right. So, we got one, two, three. We created a triangle here. You can create any shape you want. You can create a square, a rectangle, whatever. Triangle. You can use a hammer. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Just a little bit. And we can use these clothes hanger pins. Um, I'm actually buying a metal one. It should be coming today. So there's enough holes in here to allow the heat to escape and we can create a bigger hole, especially during hotter days. 
And in here, we will put rocks right here. Or we can put more stakes to kind of uh, prevent this from going like this towards the plant. We don't want that because it might cause some issues. That was fast, right? All right, let's do it again. Just like that, guys. So, just like that. Very crude, very fast, very cheap. And we're not doing this because it looks nice, because surely it doesn't. But this will cause a spike in humidity as well as a spike in temps and I do have a thermometer inside and that's uh, digital also stay tuned because we'll be showing you the temperature differences between the outside ambient temperature versus the temperature and humidity we'll show you how to manage the temperatures also during times when it's too hot or too cold. Here in this chart, you can see that in March 5th, we hit a high of 60.4 degrees Fahrenheit outdoors. And here is the temperature inside the greenhouse and it is 86 degrees, which is ideal for mangoes. <laughs> that are in the greenhouses are mangoes there's a few that we're missing but I think I'm gonna call it a day actually I'm just waiting for some more clips so I can secure these plastic greenhouse these plastic greenhouses needs a little bit more securement with more of these clips and that's it guys and uh, we'll likely plant more mangoes throughout this front yard likely over here and perhaps up there <laughs> 